It's Inspiring Wellness Time with Dar Phillips. I was working with someone the other day who came in with procrastination. Serious problem for so many people. And what he discovered is he did two things that was causing his uh, procrastination. So if you have a problem with procrastination, chances are you do something similar. First of all, what he did is the task that he didn't want to do, he knew that it took a certain amount of time and he pushed, pushed, pushed that task out into the future to a point where it was out of his awareness. So he could create the space of peace and calmness in the present moment. And what would happen is he'd occasionally he'd get a reminder. And then because he hadn't done it, it was linked with pain and frustration and a feeling of being disappointed. And so he it reminded him that he had to do the task. So he'd push that into the future, way until the point where he no longer needed to think about it anymore until it would pop up again and he would do this kind of process over and over again. The other thing that happened is with these little tasks, these little things, he would look at them and focus with the kind of a filter kind of going and looking at all the pain and all the problems and all the things he didn't want to do, all the reasons why he didn't want to do it. So fair enough because there's a lot of tasks we don't want to do. But you could look at that same task as something that you want to do. You could all of a sudden view it in a completely different way and say, what do I like about this? What could be fun about this? How could I enjoy doing this? If you spend a little bit of time trying to work out things you like about it, which is actually, it sounds simple, but it's actually a bit of a challenging skill. It's just a skill. Sounds a little bit difficult, but it's actually very easy once you kind of actually condition your brain to think a certain way and ask questions in a new way. What could I like or what could I enjoy about it? Then all of a sudden you want to do it. So you want to take these tasks and you want to do them. See, this fellow, what I was talking about, he had like, if you will, he, the, the strategy he was using was don't want to deal with it now, put it away. So if he was cleaning his room, he would have grabbed the stuff shoved it in a closet so the room looks clean. But what was happening is there was all the stuff in the closet. So he knew he wasn't actually in a great clean environment because he knew that he could feel the mess around him. So procrastination can be an absolute, gets people in a lot of trouble and it stops people from a lot of, lot of enjoyment. So if you procrastinate, Grab one task, bring it into the future, see what you want to do with that and get stuck in. Because what you're going to know very shortly is these things that you're putting off contains, if you will, a fuel inside. And these, this fuel, when you kind of eat it, it's like, as in doing the task, you feel good. Try it. Take one thing that you're putting off, give it a go, figure out what you could enjoy about it, have fun with it, be creative with it. Do the task and notice how you feel. You'll feel good. If you liked this video or got some value out of it or enjoyed it, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.